Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing um, another brownie video. I know I'm like, I think it's like my third one, but it's a different company. I saw this at Whole Foods Keto and Co. Fudge brownies and these are only supposed to have 1.1 net carbs. So uh, when I made these, I uh, recently cheated because it was Derek's birthday. So, you know, we were cheating and eating whatever. So now I'm trying to get back on keto, but I still have like cravings for like sweet things. So that's why this video is coming about because I need to make something sweet. So I figured I might as well do a video, let you guys know what I think about this. If you see this in Whole Foods or that, should I have it in other like healthy stores. So yeah, just wanna do a video real quick. Let you guys know what I think about it. And the good thing about this is that they say it's already pre-sweetened. So all you need is butter, three eggs, that's it. So all you need to do is melt this, beat the eggs, mix it together. It's supposed to be that simple. So it should be a short video. Yep. It says gluten-free, keto-friendly, diabetic-friendly, no sugar added. It's supposed to make 16. You'll need one of these, eight by eight. Yeah, so I'm gonna get right into the video. I'm gonna beat the eggs, melt the butter, uh, spray this, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I got my eggs, I got my butter, my mix, my pan spray. So now, like I said, it says, just combine brownie mix, butter, and eggs in a medium mixing bowl and stir until smooth. So. Smells really good. Mm. All right, so now that's all combined. So now I'm gonna whisk it up. I thought about using a hand mixer, but I was like, it's not that much stuff, so it should be fine just doing it by hand. So that's what I'm gonna do. Flick it a wrist. That's all done. Looks good. Probably shouldn't have ate this gum, but I'm gonna taste it. Y'all know me, y'all watch my other videos, y'all know I always gotta taste these pre-sweetened things. Get down. Get down. Y'all know I always gotta taste these pre-sweetened things before I um, just pour them in and bake it, because then what if I don't like it? What if it's not sweet enough? So make sure you taste it before you do that. I actually have sugar-free chocolate chips I'm gonna put in there. This is from Hershey's. So I think I'm gonna just put a few of these in there. Well, I'm gonna taste it first, then I'll put that in there. It's like pretty good, actually. Like, it's actually pretty good. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to think if I should add more or not. I always add a little bit more, so I'm gonna put a little bit more sweetener. The sweetener I'm using is Sweet Leaf. Uh, I got this from Grocery LA before I moved down here, because it was like really cheap, like $3, or $4, something like that, so I had got like a lot of them. So I like to use this one. This one works pretty good. This is like the main one I use, but like um, when I make anything like sweet, that's like the main one I use, so it works really good. Now it tastes like perfection to me. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna put a few of these in. Not too, too many, but enough. And these, if you find these, these are pretty good because they're only one uh, net carb for one tablespoon. So this is probably like two tablespoons. This is just my guess, guesstimation, but I feel like a handful is like two tablespoons. So I think that's enough. All right, so now I'm gonna pour this in. I just use any kind of like non-stick spray. You can use butter, whatever you wanna use. I just use that because it's just easier. All right, dump this in. No, like that, I like to just shake it into the corner, and there we go. 
what I got. It's thick, you can tell it's like real fudgy and thick. So I'm gonna put this in the oven, 30, 35 minutes. And I'll be back to show you what's up. All right, so as y'all can see, it's a whole new switch, whole new day. The brownies are done, but I had to do something yesterday. So I didn't get to uh, do the taste test or anything yesterday. But this is the finished product. So I'm gonna cut a piece out and then I'm going to heat it up, do a taste test, see what it tastes like. And um, yeah, so you're supposed to cut these in 16 pieces. That's how it ends up being 1.1 uh, net carbs. So I'm gonna cut it as best as I can <laughs> to that, but we'll see, I don't know. All right, here we go. One of the pieces. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit and then I'll let you guys know what it tastes like. So it'll be like, kind of like it was fresh yesterday, like, you know, so. All right, so it's nice and soft now. Let's taste it. I see one of the chocolate chips. Wow. I'm gonna burn my tongue off. That's really good. I mean, for me, honestly, like, if nobody told me, like, oh, this is like keto brownie, I wouldn't really know, you know? Like I can't, I can't tell the difference between this and a regular one, super chocolatey, super fudgy, super good. Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm so used to like keto tasting stuff or not, but I think it tastes really, really good. Like I don't taste any greediness from like almond flour or anything like, all because they use coconut flour. That's why. So yeah, so they use coconut flour instead of almond flour. So that's why I don't taste like the grittiness. Like when I make mine and I use almond flour, it's like a slight grittiness because of the ground of almonds. So yeah, I think these taste really, really good. So I'm gonna put it up close so you guys can see. Keto and Co. Like I said, I find it at Whole Foods. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. I don't remember how much it was. I can look it up and then put it uh, in the description box below. But yeah, that's it. I got my sweet tooth craving out the way. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you later, bye.